All right, so hot take. Did we make the wrong USMLE exam pass fail? This article cites the American Medical Association stance and their recommendation on transitioning USMLE step three from a traditional three digit scaled score to a pass fail assessment system. Now, just for some context, the USMLE Step 3 exam is taken by especially American medical graduates during the most challenging time in residency, intern year. International medical graduates usually take the USMLE Step 3 exam for their ERAS application and just prior to the residency match cycle. So the USMLE Step 3 exam is a two-day pretty challenging exam. Day one is seven hours, your traditional multiple choice questions, whereas day two is nine hours. And not only do you get 180 multiple choice questions, but you have to go through 13 clinical case scenarios in this clunky USMLE software. Now, preparing for the USMLE Step 3 exam during residency is pretty challenging. Many residents take a pretty chill rotation to carve out some dedicated study time. I still remember burning through all of my vacation weeks so that then I could focus on doing well on the USMLE Step 3 exam. Now, many fellowship programs may or may not care about a high USMLE Step 3 score. Fellowship application especially is so nuanced to the field that you will be applying to. And because there is so much variability, I agree that USMLE Step 3 should transition to a pass-fail scoring system. If you look at all of the USMLE exams in context, I do think that USMLE step one and the content that it covers is genuinely very core to what you need to know as a physician, no matter what field you go into. Now, I agree that there are some minutia details that are tested on the USMLE step one exam. However, I genuinely believe that if we transition the USMLE step one back to a three digit scoring system, not only will it provide another data point in the competitive ERAS residency selection process, but it can also allow for a medical student to show growth and a change between the USMLE step one score and the step two CK score. I also think that getting a higher score on the USMLE step one can correlate to some degree of mastery. And that mastery can help not only for step two CK, but as a student is going to be going through the training process. Having the USMLE step one go back to a three digit score can hopefully awaken institutions and even medical schools to make sure that students are well supported and have the resources needed to succeed on this high stakes exam. Now the USMLE exams are just one small part in the overall journey of being a physician, but I do think that they set a good baseline or standard for prospective medical trainees that can then be built upon in residency training programs.